Scott Pruitt, head of the EPA, says President Trump left the Paris deal because it would have been bad for the country. This is not a message to anyone in the world that, that America is somewhat should be apologetic of its CO2 position. We are actually making tremendous advances. We're just not going to agree to, we're just not going to agree to frameworks and, and agreements that put us at an economic disadvantage. Vice President Pence calls Trump's decision refreshing. The president says he's putting America first. My job as president is to do everything within my power to give America a level playing field. Trump says staying in the agreement would amount to a self-inflicted major economic wound costing as many as 2.7 million jobs by 2025 and contributing to a drop in GDP of almost $3 trillion by 2040. The president argues that because other major pollutants like India and China aren't held to higher standards, U.S. participation won't help the environment. 14 days of carbon emissions from China alone would wipe out the gains from America. The Trump administration believes the United States can continue to fight climate change just in other ways. The president says he is willing to negotiate back into the Paris deal under terms that are fair to the U.S. and its workers. But a joint statement by the leaders of Germany, France, and Italy says the deal cannot be renegotiated. Wyatt. Mark Irons reporting from the White House. Thanks, Mark.